Hi guys. So I, yeah, I I have this eight star, uh, yeah, right one. Anyway, there are yeah. The area I was start talking and uh, uh, it was not the video part, so I have to re-record it again, which was yeah, um, it was, yeah that was mistake. It was kind of annoying, but anyway, um, it's really good. The block like everybody can share each other and get to know it, get to know about other people and connect with. Like those are really awesome new ideas for for everything. Our life has changed a lot because of um, all those sharing, sharing worldwide. And uh, yeah, I shared a lot in some of the anonymity meetings. It's about me, it's about my things, so it's okay to share. Um, but yeah, I, I keep about uh, my own, uh, other people's anonymity. But I want to say something. Um, in the anonymity meetings for all those like everything like yeah AA or ACA those are really great uh, we help each other and uh, but I also noticed there can be a stalker or uh, you know some people also saw some of my videos and uh, after that uh, I got lots of uh, um, the videos showing uh, you have to be careful on uh, on the stalkers, so that's right. But yeah, when we join some of the anonymity meetings, um, yeah, we probably should be careful uh, because sometimes other people don't like you or don't accept you. Um, it happens all the time anyway, and I know it. You know, uh, I experienced it a lot. Uh, since I was a child, since I was a toddler, uh, people don't accept you um, because of the environment change and the things. Uh, to me, uh, it's also like, yeah, I experienced a lot, so now I really don't care or, yeah, I don't give a bullshit about it. Um, like, uh, I'm a fighter and uh, some of the members, uh, they know it. Uh, uh, they can kind of feel it, but yeah, uh, I'm very grateful that people can understand some people don't understand and some people can understand so That's great. Uh, what I said earlier that you know, I've experienced people's or the same age kids the rejection was I was only Japanese child in uh, American kindergarten uh, in in China and uh, in other place, other country outside of Japan, I spoke only Japanese at that time. And everybody were Europeans, French, uh, Europeans, uh, the uh, English people, and Americans, uh, Italians, and uh, yeah, something like that. All the European kids and me. Um, but I, I probably looked like an Italian too because uh, I, uh, my nut tanned skin is a, uh, it's white, it's pale, and uh, uh, just you know big, big eyes. So um, <coughs> it's not like uh, some people think of a stereotypical like Asian figures. It's not. My mom, my mother is huge too. She's like a German. Uh, her size and her feet is big too. It's not like uh, some people think of a stereotypical small Asian. So it's not. It's not like that. Not at all. So the kids didn't understand why I speak different language and why I don't speak English like them. Um, and we are all three years old. So I got rejection because I don't speak English. I was three years old, and the the Asian child, yeah, my face doesn't look different uh, from now, uh, now and before. Anyway, I still have, uh, yeah, kind of the same face probably, where everybody does. Um, anyway, I still remember <laughs> my childhood, so that uh, that can be very. Uh, great, uh, great 
yeah, great things that we can remember, and sometimes it's a good memory. Uh, at that time, you know, I couldn't speak English anymore because that was only the first six months of my experience. And uh, I went to the different kindergartens, like Japanese kindergartens. Uh, but my parents wanted me to learn the foreign cultures, so they sent me to the uh, like other Asian kindergartens, like Chinese kindergartens. So I had a lot of a connection with Chinese people um, since I was a kid, and also Americans and Europeans too. But yeah, I now I'm like over thirty, so I can accept like um, people. Uh, those Asian people come to me just because I'm also Asian so uh, now uh, I'm more welcome to um, not to psychoanalyze them but if we click I can be friends with them and uh, um, that can be great opportunity to make uh, lots of new friends and uh, good friends um, I'm also a cautious person I'm also <laughs> Uh, suspicious at some parts so uh, when we are making new friends I also uh, has to be careful because we don't know uh, some people's background or the, uh, what agent they actually have but anyway sometimes I don't care not so much so making a new friends in a new place can be also fun too also, but I would advise you to be careful anything anyway if you gonna do a new thing is that's a great advice um, anyway the, so I could not speak English when I was high school too anyway because I forgot all the languages even I could speak Chinese better when I was kids um, I spoke Japanese and Chinese because of my friends were all Chinese too. Uh, some, well, some of my friends are also uh, other countries like Europeans and Americans too. But I also had a uh, lot of Chinese friends and uh, the Chinese kindergarten teachers, some are really good too. Um, but I forgot all the languages anyway. I could speak only Japanese. Um, because I came back to Japan when I was six years old to the kindergarten and I graduated from a Japanese kindergarten and uh, yeah when I was 18 19 years old I still could not speak English anyway uh, I probably could imitate the accent only and um, that was fun nobody could imitate the accent but uh, me it was natural natural to me anyway but yeah um, so my high school English test was just average Japanese classmates pretty much all the same um, but now I can speak English so uh, exploring to the new world um, that speaking English with the world world that's also great opportunity for me too and for everybody too so that's I am very grateful uh, for that too and uh, I liked those anonymity meetings like AA Skype uh, online meetings and also their like form um, please somebody let me know how to use the other internet options that I can connect more that also very good because Sometimes we are all very busy in Tokyo life. I don't have time. Sometimes I really don't have time for anything. But just work and things to do, fix my meal, you know, that thing is, all those things. Uh, I was very busy with my dog too before. Um, he, he died like after four of, yeah, like three, four years later. Um, it's gonna be long, so I'm not gonna talk about my dog but yeah I was not expecting he's gonna die um, but I all I hope is he's happy now rest in peace that's also very important and uh, in the end he was also very calm down and happy too I did everything for him the, the best I can uh, in the end 
at that time, AA meetings were the mere with me, was with me too when my son, the dog, was dying at the first time in the meetings. So probably I sounded like I was uh, like breaking down. My 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 heart was like yeah, in a million pieces, something something like that. But yeah, so that was the uh, very different way of the first meetings I went to on the AA meetings online because that time when yeah when my you know, animal was dying my pet was dying at that time I was very devastating at the same time but I was also grateful that I could find some people or some people also can click with me some are not everybody but yeah that was that was also very good the great opportunity to to know about online meetings uh, only at that time but yeah anyway yeah. I'm gonna finish it here now and talk to you later again and um, I always love to uh, meet our very good people in the world wide but uh, let's be careful <laughs> I'm also I also have to be careful because uh, some people in in the Asian world like they don't like other people making a new fingers. They say like uh, they say the thing is uh, if you're different or trying to do new things they're gonna hit you or like they're gonna you know trying to uh that's in Japanese. Um they're yeah they're trying to destroy you or things so um but people can't do it anyway there are lots of other different people too but yeah uh if i am also s speaking like this and uh, trying to get connect with people i like in this way in in this public way um yeah um because of some cultures uh uh, in in the uh, in the Japan world, uh, some of my co-workers also don't like it. Um, so those things we all have to be careful. But it's not only me; everybody is doing some other things too. So, yeah. Uh, let's. But that thing is and the, okay about co-workers. Uh, some of uh, the the company I know they have a rules. We have we cannot talk about our work uh, things uh, in a social media like a Twitter. They they send the letter to every employee. Uh, yeah, don't say anything or the things. So that was kind of weird because I never talk about my work. Uh, like uh, some other people's private things on the Twitter or on the internet, but the 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 company it was a Japanese company. They are very uh, cautious about it. They are like handing everybody the paper, showing everybody the uh, let everybody sign it. Even sites have a uh, we all have to have a signature. Uh, put the signature on that paper um, so that was really weird to me because who it's like talk about other people's private things on Twitter or in the social media like Facebook I never done it I have no idea who yeah and the company was like really strict and as I said they're very cautious even made everybody to sign to give a signature uh, to be careful for that so that was one experience I got it was very different but yeah um, that difference is maybe not so good <laughs> but yeah um, that um, it, it's it's a funny and yeah, it's a funny policy they have. They have a rule and uh, regulations in in the company.